Day 28 of Sober October in aid of Macmillan Cancer Support. Yes, day 28. That time is coming soon. We're not far off now. Um, I, I'm trying to work out in my head. We've got three days, haven't we? We've got three days. <laughs> Just not working. It's been one of those days today. Um, especially after last night about the auction, which we'll talk about that in a, in a second. Uh, yesterday, or the last couple of days, has been a, quite a bit of a stressful day. So after the auction, I had something to eat. Um, we're still on quite a high how well we did. And I think I went to sleep about 12 o'clock. And then I, I woke up about three, hoppers three, jumped in the bath, and then I was down here. I did a bit of recording. I did some emails to people who won about the auction, some emails for work, and I, I did, like I said, a bit of recording. And then I think about 11 o'clock in the morning, I sort of crashed. And Lou went, just go to bed. And uh, that's what I did. I went to bed and I didn't wake up until six. So yeah, I had a, I had a good sleep. And I think again, I think it's been over the, the the day over the few days that I've had a little bit of stress. So not only about the auction. The auction I was really worried about. Um, number one was anybody going to turn up and watch it. Number two was anybody going to actually bid. That, <laughs> you can put the stuff there, but if nobody's got the money or they can't bid, then you just sat there with with. Um, a bunch of um, auction prizes that nobody's bidding on. So I was worried about that. I also was worried, were well, we going to get a load of trouble, people coming in? We got a little bit, but nothing to really talk about. So it was a bit of a stress, a couple of days getting that all sorted and, and, and done. Um, also, as well, I didn't say on the vlog yesterday, but it was the anniversary of my mum passing away uh, yesterday, Wednesday the 27th. Um, and uh, it, so that was playing the couple of days before. it. That always plays on your head. Um and it's, it's one of them things as well, it, it's nine years that, that she's passed away, but it doesn't get any better. You probably get a little bit number, um, but it, it doesn't get any better. And it's one of the things all the way through the years, you, you, people who've lost people, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's, it's like she passed away on, on the 27th, but we had to wait all the way till the 14th of December for her actual funeral. Then you have Mother's Day, then you have a birthday, um, then there's Christmases, um, and the, and I still get the things where I think, oh, tell me, I can't tell me, mum. And it is, it, it's heart wrenching, and it do, it doesn't get any better. And I know there's people out there, you you, you know exactly what I'm on about. My mum always said to me, I will always be with you, and I always thought that she meant that, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll turn up in the middle at night and and talk to you and stuff like that. But over the years, I worked out what she meant was the fact of she'll always be with me because the kids will do something, and I, and it'll remind me of my mum or something will happen. When you're out on the street and you've got my mum straight away, full fault in in in, the, in your front of your mind, um, she's always with me. I'm always thinking about her, but I, that's what she actually means. She's always with you because things like that just trigger them the memories that are, that, that are there. So yeah, that that's been on my mind for the last few days. So my sleeping patterns have been not been good. I haven't felt that great if I'm totally honest. Um, it's probably a good thing as well. With me not drinking, maybe I would have drank a little bit more if, you know, sort of self-medication, as they, they call it, or drowned in your sorrows. Um, I, I'm, I probably would have drank a little bit more over the last few days as well. Don't get me wrong, I am looking forward to Sunday um, where I can have a beer. We are going to be doing a live on the Urban LBV channel uh, from about opposite 11 and then I've just been talking to the Patreons for that, that's the the group uh, for the the um, the vaping side of it. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of a meet afterwards as well. When I have a couple of beers, I'll be proper giggly because I've not had a beer. So last night at the auction, that was just absolutely amazing. And like I said last night, big shout out to Mr B and also Harley uh, for making it run smoothly and everybody who just turned up um, and. and was just a part of it, even if they didn't win any auctions, but people who were just a part of it. And thank you very much to everybody who bidded and the people who won the auctions as well. Uh, everybody's been contacted um, about that and that everything will be sent out next week. So from going from, we'd hit the nine £900 mark um, and we're still at 1786 Now, Sean from The Misfits, again, that's uh, uh, down to vaping. Uh, he, he did say that if we hit the 2k mark, he would um, drink one of his smoothies. Now, if you don't know about his smoothies, what they are, the the stuff that you don't particularly want to, to drink in there, like snails and that sastromin and like pepper and, you know, like stuff that you really don't want to be drinking. And, you know, like really hot stuff and bugs and... So he did say that he'd do one of them on Sundays away in, in London and he did message me this morning congratulating us for, for getting to that amount. 
So uh, you never know, we might be able to push it up to that 2K over the next few days. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, you never know. But it is, it's absolutely brilliant. And we, we and I've, I've said it every single other vlog, so I might as well say it now. We are getting, on, we're on that straight, it's that home straight. And this time round, the, the first time round last year, that, that really did sort of like drag a little bit. This hand, each day is just going so fast. Uh, I've got a hell of a lot of things done. Uh, I feel pretty good. I don't think I've lost any weight though, because I have found that I've ate more this time as well. I've, I've nipped to the shop and thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have some nuts and I'll have uh, some crisps. And uh, I've had, I must admit, I've had a couple of cream cakes as well. You probably tell I've probably put the weight on. But yeah, I've, I've, I've ate a little bit more than uh, drinking. So uh, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though, is me, me belly's not as um, podged. You know, obviously when you drink, you, you get a bit of a podged belly. I haven't had that. Um, I would say my sleeping pattern's been been better, but it hasn't this time around. Before it was, it were a lot better. I slept really well. This time around, I just haven't. My sleeping pattern's just been up and down. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's anything to do with my diabetes and this iron thing that I've got. Uh, but yeah, it's been up and down. Uh, but yeah, everything's good. Day 28. I'm hoping, I'm definitely going to get out tomorrow. I'm going out for a wander. I'm going to take the dog. I definitely want to go out for a walk. Get uh, all snuggled up. Because uh, it's bloody windy and wet and cold out there. If there's any, I, I think they're having a lot of problems as well up in Scotland. So I hope everybody is all right where they are. So, day 28 has come to an end. And uh, like I said yesterday on the vlog, the people who have not only shared that link, shared the vlogs out there, donated, were a part of the auction and everything else that we've done, you have made a difference to somebody's life and a family's life as well. And just remember that. This is the, it's nothing to do with just like little bro uh, stopping drinking. It's, the, it's for Macmillan and uh, they do a fantastic job. Just a little story on top of that. A friend of mine called Pat, I've known him for a hell of a lot of years and a really good mate of mine. He A couple of times he got in touch with me and I've given him mods vaping to to to, uh, to stop him from smoking and it were only a couple of weeks back he got in touch with me and he said to me oh, have you got have you got oh I went, yeah of course i have i gave him a device anyway he's gone fishing bang dropped his mod into the water so i went so he messaged me have you got anything he says i'll pay for it so i said don't worry about it don't let just give it him for free i said don't worry about it i says 30 quid, the, the model's worth more than that, 30 quid, put it into to the Macmillan. And, he, and his wife at the minute is is actually going through breast cancer. So he says, yeah, we, we already give £20 a month to Macmillan. He says, but great cause, I'll stick 30 quid in there quite happily. And he did do. So yeah, big love, Pat, for that. Um, and it does all them little bits just make make a difference, whether it's a pound all the way up to, to the hundreds of pounds that have been donated. It's been amazing. Uh, and to be at the figure that we're at, £1,786. Uh, go, oh, wait there. Am I going to get it right? No. Oh, Jesus, I will get it right. I'll, I will just put it there. I will just put it there so we can see it. Right then, on we go. Day 29. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to get a little bit out and about. Um, and I think I've got a little few few more bits to do. And I, I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm going to go back and snuggle up with Lou. I'm going to watch a film. Yes. Do you know what? I fancy a bit of Harry Potter. Well, obviously, I'll rephrase that. I fancy watching a little bit of Harry Potter. Um, oh, and also, don't forget uh, the radio show tomorrow on the 510 Connection. If you if you go into Google and put the 510 Radio, it'll come up with it on Mixcloud. You can download it onto your phone. Um, you can also get it on um, Fire Sticks and all sorts like that. You can watch it. And if you've got um, Apple TV... You can download Mixcloud on there. And the good thing about it is if you don't listen to it at 7 o'clock um, tomorrow night, that's when it goes out live, you can catch it up all the way through. It's there all the time. And there's other shows on there as well. There's um, On the Monday, you've got Benny Vapes. He does an 80s show. On the Tuesday, you've got Stevie. He does... Um, uh, a rock show, and then on a Wednesday you have got um, Hooked on Funk, Jay, he does like a mixture of stuff, so you've got other shows to listen to, now if you've got a car where you link, you can link up your, your player uh, to your phone, you can listen to it in the car, link it up to the car and listen. have an hour's listen to that while you're out there, and that's just on mixed cloud, and it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, so it is free, so go and have a listen to the radio show, it is an, hour's long, an hour long, and it is a bit of a giggle, um, so uh, the Friday night with Little Bro is out tomorrow at 7pm on the 510 Radio. So go and check that out. 
I think I've wobbled on quite a lot today. There you go, that's it. T ten minutes. Ten minutes of uh, gabbling. Is gabbling actually a word? I don't even know. Big love to you all. Look after yourselves. And I will see you tomorrow for day 29. I just can't believe it. Day 29. Big love to you all. Look after yourselves. And don't forget, stick them thumbs up. If you're brand new, press that subscribe button and the notification bell. And, get, and, and share this vlog. If you're watching it, share the vlog. Just get it all out there. Let people know about it. Big love to you all. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good nighter. Thank you.